Now, Jalen, you know me. I usually just read the headline and the first paragraph of something on the internet, but I actually read the entire Kevin Love essay on the Players' Tribune. And I want to take a quick second to applaud Kevin Love for being so open with a struggle that has a stigma. What Kevin Love did was he wrote about his struggle with panic attacks at games in the NBA, and he wrote about going to a therapist and overall mental health and how in the professional athletic environment, there's a stigma around this type of struggle that you don't get with, say, like a sprained ankle. Jalen, you've spent a lifetime in locker rooms. Why is mental health not addressed and looked at with the appropriate amount of respect in a professional athletic environment? Because what ends up happening is, as you start to hone your craft as an athlete, and it's a journey, and you're also put on the trek of getting an education as well. So in high school, you need to be eligible. In college, you need to be eligible. But you continue to do your best to be one of the elite prospects in high school, hope that you can make it to the McDonald's game. Then you get to college, and you hope you can make it to the Final Four. And what ends up happening is, we only pay attention to the things that are tangible mm -hmm. because a lot of what gets you to that point is your physical endurance. We underestimate your emotional state and your mental capacity to be excellent at your job also. So what ends up happening is the challenge is to each other because we all have aches and pains. We all have trials and tribulations. We all have issues away from the floor. But once we get into this locker room, we expect everybody to give their maximum to put us in position to win today's game. That's all that matters. And so when I see said player on the training table, I can recognize, oh man, his elbow looks messed up. Ooh, oh man, look how swollen that ankle is. Oh man, when he got hurt in the game, that was a horrific injury. These are things you can see. And then the second part of that, and all human beings a lot of times are responsible for this, out of sight, out of mind. You can't pay attention to what's going on with somebody on the inside. And so what ends up happening is, while you're able to juggle all of the things you're able to juggle, and yet still be a functioning member of society, there are people that allow those troubles and it's not their fault, it just happens to crumble them emotionally. And they need that help. That's why therapy is there. And that's why so many people have it, but it's not necessarily discussed. And so in that environment, you're like, oh, you're healthy? We got a game. You need to play. Oh, he's not out there? And we're playing against Oklahoma City? He better be in the back. Oh, you get in the back after the game and he's not back? It's like, oh, no. Well, something, hey, we don't care what's happening with you. Like, we need you to be a part of this or share with us real time what's going on. But this issue is one that people continue to keep closeted, and rightfully yeah. so. That's why we're applauding DeMar DeRozan. That's why we're applauding of Kevin course. Love of coming out. So now, in retrospect, when teammates and coaches and fans and media see what he was dealing with, now they're going to look at his scenario different, and now going forward, he's going to be evaluated different, which I know that that's not what he wants, but that's just human nature. And it's one of those things where there's this, this stigma. There's this idea that, like, you're a man. You shouldn't talk about your feelings. You need to be tough. You, you know, you're weak if you have these mental health issues. That's only something that weak people have. And that per per perpetuates it. That spirals it and makes it worse and worse and worse. And I do, again, want to say thank you to DeMar DeRozan and Kevin Love for opening up and sharing these experiences with them, something that a lot of people around the world right now deal with that they've kind of made it a little bit easier to deal with. Congratulations to those two. And we look forward to others like them coming out and helping with these issues.